Hello, hello. Welcome to another conversation lesson. We're going to jump right into it. Let's open our Ingu website that we always use. I always tell you guys, you can come here with a friend or by yourself who work through some of these articles. They have a lot of free material and they also offer one-on-one -on -one lessons. So if you're interested, you can contact them too. But let's see, we're going to do, what shall we do? Study alcohol advice should be based on age location. Let's do that. All right, let me just make this bigger for us. And as always, we're going to start with the vocabulary. Like I mentioned before, I'll read through. I'd like you to hit pause after each word, read it out loud. Make sure you got the pronunciation down. Make sure you're comfortable with the way you pronounce it. And then if the definition that they give you is not clear, you can just uh, type in Google consumption meaning, and they'll give you all the different definitions for it based on the context you want to use it in. All right, so let's go. Consumption, the action of using food, energy, etc., the amount of something used. The FDA tests food products to make sure they are, they are safe for human consumption. They have another definition here. Yeah? The study highlighted the dangers of moderate alcohol consumption. Okay. Next one, specific belonging or relating to one particular subject. Instead of sending a generic cover letter, write one that is specific to the job you are applying for. Then we've got harmful, likely or able to cause harm or damage. The sunscreen provides for four hours of protection from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Injury, harm or damage done to the body of a human or animal. She is expected to miss the rest of the season due to injury. Then we've got consider, to think about something, especially before making a decision about it. I'm considering changing my career path to something more exciting. Next one, relationship, the way two people or things are connected or the state of being connected. My therapist said, if I want to reduce stress, I need to change my relationship to my job. All right, well, let's move right on to our article. Again, I'm going to read through the whole article. You can hit pause after each little paragraph or line and then read it out loud again. Make sure you're comfortable with the pronunciation. You have to say it out loud, okay? Let's go. Study. Alcohol advice should be based on age, location. Sometimes it feels like there's new advice every month about how much alcohol we can safely drink. And there might be a good reason for this. A huge new study has found there isn't one simple answer. A study published in The Lancet that included data from more than 200 countries said that recommendations about alcohol consumption should be specific to age and location. According to the study in 2020, more than a billion males and more than 300 million females were drinking harmful amounts of alcohol. It found that people aged between 15 and 39 were most likely to do so, and this was especially true in Europe and Australasia. The study said that among this age group, one of the main health risks was injuries caused by drinking too much, like from car accidents, for example. The researchers said health officials should be encouraging people under 39 to reduce their use of alcohol. No alcohol at all would be best, but perhaps too much to ask, they said. The study said that for those over the age of 40, a small amount of alcohol may decrease the risk of getting some diseases like heart, di heart disease. And it's possible that a little alcohol may actually be better for older adults. The research found that recommendations should also consider the diseases that are most common in a specific part of the world and their relationship with the risks of alcohol consumption. But the researchers also said there's no need for recommendations to be different for men and women, even though this is quite common around the world. Okay, so let's see. Oh, dear. <laughs> We've got three questions related to the article. I never do well with these, but let's see how you do. So I'm going to read the question. I'd like you to answer it based on the information we just read. See how much you remember. And then I'll try and answer it when it comes to numbers. I'm not that good. And then we'll go back and have a look. 
So number one, how many people were drinking harmful amounts of alcohol in 2020? You remember? Ugh. What are the main health risks for people aged 15 to 39 who drink too much? Hmm. Number three, can alcohol be good for people over the age of 40? You get it? All right, let's see how I do. Number one, how many people were drinking harmful amounts of alcohol in 2020? Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot, wasn't it? Wasn't it like, oh, I'm going to be wrong. Numbers are terrible. I'm going to say, was it the one where they said like a billion, a billion men and like 300 million women? Ugh. I don't know. What are the main health risks for people aged 15 to 39 who drink too much? Uh, wasn't it like accidents, car accidents, things like that, more related to, oh, health risk, health risk. Yeah, they said, they said it was like accidents and things that you would do while drinking. It's not the alcohol itself, but, you know, you do stupid things when you drink alcohol, I think. Can alcohol be good for people over the age of 40? Yes, they said so. All right, so let's see. How many people? More than a billion males and more than 300 million females were drinking harmful amounts of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right. Um, then the study said, okay, yeah, they talk about 15 to 39. Among this age group, one of the main health risks was injuries caused by drinking too much, like from car accidents, for example, doing stupid things when you drink. All right. Hey, I got it. And those over 40 small amounts of alcohol may decrease risk of getting some disease. So it's actually good for you. <laughs> three, three for three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I shouldn't be that happy about these simple questions, right? Let's go to the discussion questions. Again, I'm going to read the first one. Well, I'll read the question. You can either hit pause before I answer it or after. If you want to hit pause before, you can give your answer. Then listen to mine, see if we have some similar ideas. Otherwise, you can listen to mine first, hit pause, and then you can maybe respond like say, oh, I don't agree with you on this, or I think it's different like this, or I think the same as you. You can, you know, respond in a way that you would respond to me directly. And again, say it out loud. You have to practice to speak out loud, all right? I'm talking here by myself. You can talk at home by yourself. So don't worry. Number one, what are your thoughts on the findings of the study? Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know if I agree or disagree with him, but surely, yeah, they should. Um, I don't know what, how, I suppose, you know, if you're raised in a certain culture and they have, drinking habits and maybe the body adapts you know evolve over time you know your grandparents drank and their grandparents drank you know so it's you your your body kind of gets used to a specific amount of alcohol even though you know you don't drink but through generations your dna might change so yeah not too surprised by that Okay, number two, do you find it surprising that many people drink harmful amounts of alcohol? No, no, um, no, I don't find it surprising. People drink way too much, especially younger people. Um, you know, you, your whole life you're told, oh, don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. And you see all the adults drinking and they saying, like, you know, you're not allowed to drink. And then when you're old enough, it's like, ah, I can drink and I can do what they did. And then you go crazy and... You do stupid things. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. I, uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to go into more detail on that. Number three, what age groups tend to drink the most in your country? Mm, yeah, in, I live in Thailand at the moment. So, in Thailand, I would say... How can I say? Not... I would say maybe people between 25 to 40, I think might drink uh, drink the most. 
um it's an older age group i think and but the people here they they like to go out after work and have a drink with friends um so it's not like young people that go party and then drink a lot it's more people that are working already um and they go yeah after work every night and have a drink yeah in south africa i think it's more the younger people that drink the most you know like i started going out and drinking when i was like 17 and then up to like 21 22 23 i started slowing down actually so that that time was when i drank the most and like i said earlier your whole life you told like oh don't 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 and then you can do it and it's fun obviously it's fun hangovers are not that fun but you know getting all tipsy or drunk is fun and then as a kid you want fun and then yeah you just go crazy all right number four do you know anything about your country's safe drinking guidelines guidelines no i think all countries probably have you know drink responsibly and uh, don't drink and drive nowadays it's easier with things like uber or, you know drive sharing apps so you don't have to you know when i was a kid there was nothing like that and we didn't even really have taxis where i lived so it was like you just have to drive home um my dad i must say that's one thing my dad was really nice about he he always said if you go out and you go drinking and you don't feel comfortable to drink give me a call doesn't matter where doesn't matter what time rather come and get me then i have to go drive I'm drunk on the roads and be in an accident and uh, i only did that once though i sh well, yeah i only did that once the way i where i got I, I just i couldn't drive and i got my friends like listen call my dad and they were like no we're not gonna do that that's crazy and uh yeah they ended up calling him he came he didn't ask questions he drove me home um very nice of him yeah didn't complain, didn't say nothing about it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Number five, are drinking recommendations different for men and women where you live? No, I don't I haven't noticed any any difference for men and women. Further discussion, what are the most popular alcoholic drinks where you live? Ugh, I because I don't drink regular the popular, you know, most I would say probably beer. People love beer wherever you go. And then also whiskey. Yeah, in Thailand, the men like drinking whiskey. Sang Som. Um, yeah, so beer and whiskey is probably the most popular. In South Africa, beer. Men love drinking beer. And then also brandy. Call it Branovain. Branovain is brandy, I think. Whiskey, all these kinds of rum. Those kind of drinks that they mix with Coke. Brandy and Coke is very popular. But then obviously beer is the most popular. Everybody drinks beer. But I hate beer. I don't like beer um, at all. I drink what they call gully drinks. Sweet drinks taste like strawberry sweet. I love those things. Bacardi Breezer, Smirnoff Ice. The, hey, those are the best. <laughs> okay. Number two, are there any alcoholic drinks from your country you'd recommend trying? Uh, Thailand, recommend? I, I guess Sang Som. It's a very cheap whiskey. It tastes horrible. Gives me terrible hangovers. But it's a very popular thing here. So you can maybe try that. Um, uh, then obviously their beers are very... They've got the Tiger Chang, Chang beer, Chang. It's, yeah, Chang, and they've got very popular beers here. I always see people asking for these Thai beers. Uh, South Africa, uh, I would say from South Africa, probably uh, there's a Lakia Amarula, which is very, very nice. I love Amarula. It's from the Amarula fruit, and they make this, yeah, Lakia from it. Very, really good. Try that. Okay. Number three, 
what's the legal drinking age in your country? Do you think it is appropriate? Yeah, in South Africa, I think again, Thailand as well, it's 18 and yeah, it's appropriate. I don't get it. In the US, the drinking age, the legal drinking age is 21 in most states. I think all states almost. So you can you can own a gun legally before you can drink legally, which is you can go to the army, get a gun and kill people before you're allowed to drink, which is just crazy. So yeah, I think 18 should be the legal age and yeah. I think if you're even younger, if you if you know if your parents are responsible, they can maybe have like you're allowed to drink with your parents, you know, maybe have a drink when you're 16 or, you know, if they, if they let you drink responsibly, then you can get used to, oh, I'm allowed to have alcohol. And when you get eight, when you turn 18, or if you go out with your friends, then it's not like, oh, let's try this. It's so secretive, you know, it's, then it's just like, well, it's a drink. I've had it before, you know, there's nothing weird about it. So it might take, take away the thing where people drink too much at a young age. Okay. Number four, do you know, do you know many people who never drink alcohol? My one friend, my one friend, he never drinks alcohol, never has. I still think I haven't asked him now for many, many years, but when we were, we were younger and all, all the friends were drinking. He just refused flat out. But yeah, his dad was a alcoholic i think if i'm not mistaken so he's he had good reason to refuse to drink um yeah and then my sister who, who never my sister and my brother-in-law they don't usually drink i wouldn't say they never drink but they don't they hardly ever drink if 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 at all yeah all right, number five, drink never made a man better, but it made many a man think he was better. Finley Peter Dunn, what are your thoughts on the statement? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I agree with that. If, even though I, I drink sometimes, I, you know, it's just for relaxing, but it doesn't make you better in any way. It doesn't, if anything, it just makes you, think you are better you know it gives you this false sense of confidence but or well, maybe it gives you confidence you know when i was very young i was so shy and i would drink to get a little tipsy just so i'd be comfortable talking to girls almost like what's that guy in big bang theory rajesh almost like that um but not as bad i could talk to a girl when i was sober but it just gave me that more confidence to talk to them but you if if you need uh, if you need alcohol to be able to do something you should work on yourself rather than rely on the alcohol because then there's something missing within yourself so rather work on yourself ask yourself like why do i need this what does it do what am i lacking you know try and figure it out so you don't need it uh, rather just rely on yourself so yeah all right, well, guys, that is it then. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, pop it in the comment section. We'll try and answer it, resolve anything. If you have any opinions you want to share, go for it. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.